Hi, my name is Esther from Dynamic in the U. I'm a relationship coach and uh, actually today I want to just speak about something that happened to me um, and using my own tools to help me through releasing trauma. So the idea of time, we all know what time is, 24 hours, things happen, we do things, we set our alarms um, and we work nine to five or if you're an entrepreneur or work for yourself you can work 24 hours if you're not careful what happens though with trauma when something happens whether it is in your childhood um, as a teenager as a young person as an older person whether it happened 20 years ago five years ago one year ago six months ago yesterday once this trauma is in your body and yes trauma actually is kept somewhere in your body as well as the memory might be on a loop um time disappears it doesn't exist anymore uh because that trauma could be triggered and the word triggered means that something in your life happens whether you have a conversation with somebody uh, whether it's a song that shows up, whether you're listening to a conversation, whether you see something, whether you smell something, it can trigger that memory or the feelings that are associated with that memory. So today I was talking about something that happened to me quite recently and I'm not going to talk about what, what it was um, but what I can describe is when I started talking to my friend about what happened I suddenly realized all these emotions welling up they just actually shot up um i could feel it in my voice i could feel it in my body it was constricting even though it was shooting up and tears were coming out of wanting to come out of my eyes um and instead of letting go in all of these feelings and falling apart which is okay too it's healthy and good to fall apart when we need to however in this instance i just became aware of what was going on with me um, I acknowledged the memory so I knew what it was why it was happening and then of course I was doing exactly what I would do with my clients and the work I've done with myself working with your inner family your inner children and I just became present with myself I really just became present with myself so I was kind of like almost looking in on myself, what was going on for me. And I was like being my, oh, having my back, being the parent, being the adult here and just going, it's okay. Allow yourself to go through these emotions, these feelings. And it was also hard doing it in front of somebody, but that person loves me and I love them. And it was fine. I asked them actually, is it okay if I work through this now? Because I feel like I can do this. And they said, of course. So I did. And the first thing I did was actually close my eyes. I just went into my body and I could feel in my chest. I could feel in my tummy area. I could see what I was doing at the time, what I was going through. And I allowed for it. I was an allowance of that. I was an allowance of the emotions that were coming up. And I just breathed through all of that while as well almost looking in on it and having my back and giving me the space, holding space or being the space for this healing to occur, for this energy release to occur. And it was about two minutes, three minutes. And in that space, I released the trauma, the emotion, the shock, the shame, the guilt, the embarrassment the fear, I don't know if I mentioned that already, um, of what was going on in that situation. And just slowly being with me, being with myself there in that space, and even having my friend just there holding the space for me as well, I released it. And then I felt lighter. And then actually when I was ready to talk again, I, I started talking about it a little bit again and I realized the energy had shifted. 
So even though the memory is still there and it's like a film, I can still see myself going through it. The energetic charge, the heaviness of the emotions, that timelessness that I was stuck in that loop had gone. And I'm just so excited to, to be able to do that now. And to be able to do that with my clients or to be able to do that with myself. Because I think that's the main thing I want to actually bring across is that we are able to do that ourselves. We just need the experience, we need the training or the practice. And then we get there. And then in a moment where something traumatic comes up for you to work through to heal, you can actually just allow the healing to happen. And that's why I'm also saying trauma is timeless. PTSD is timeless because it can come up any time. It's not time dedicated. And therefore, even though that's a horrible thing to happen, that it can show up any time and trigger you and leave you ooh, breathless and in fear again, because you're really reliving that situation or that trauma again. The other side of the flip coin of that is, is that in that instant, we can actually allow for the healing to happen as well. And you might not be able to do that on your own. That's fine. But either, as I said, seek somebody who can help you and seek somebody who you can trust and work with them and allow them to hold the space for you to be the one who can guide you through this as if it's in the now without activating the now. You're working just on releasing the emotions, the feelings, the trauma of it. You're not actually there to relive the whole experience. And I think that is the safety catch in this, okay? So, I just wanted to share with you what happened to me today and how I worked through it. I wanted to talk a little bit about time and the trauma and how trauma is not really dictated by time. If anything, we can be dictated by the trauma and how it can be released in safe hands. Okay, thank you for listening. Bye-bye.